good freezing cold morning out there, y'all. How goes it? Doing well here. Just out doing some of that truck driving. We're in Morristown, Tennessee this morning waiting to get unloaded at International Paper. We got about 39,000 pounds of roll stock paper to get off of here before we jet off to uh, Johnson City to grab a drop and hook and head back to Chattanooga for the day. Anyways, I was talking to a truck driving friend of mine. For you YouTubers out here, go check him out at his channel is Billy Big Rigger. He's got an upstart channel going and he's putting out some good content, really good raw unfiltered content. He doesn't pull any punches and he's coming from a very, very honest place from the position of a owner operator in today's climates. Good videos. He's trying to get that all up and going. So go check him out. But we got to talking or he got to talking on a video this morning about the social aspects of trucking and the camaraderie uh, specifically relating back to the old trucking forums online we had the you had the truckers report and then you had the class a drivers forums and if you weren't there when those things were booming you just probably wouldn't understand those things were they were like the facebook and myspace for truckers thousands of truckers on there with hundreds of active ones very known very well known within the truckers community you i mean if you were real active in those forums it wasn't anything to be at a truck stop or at a shipper or something and somebody would come up to you and be like hey are you so and so and they would you know from truckers report or class a drivers and they'd call you by your screen name and it was a just a big connector for uh, truck drivers out there and those are kind of fading away those they're still there not active like they were seems like everybody's kind of transitioned over to doing trucking channels on YouTube. There's some very big channels on YouTube on here. Lots of mine not being one of them. I just, you know, I just kind of do it for my own personal entertainment. I'd like to have a bigger channel, so y'all like and subscribe if you don't mind. But anyways, it seems like everybody's kind of transitioned over to the social media, specifically the uh, YouTube. Some really big pages out there with big follows, big amounts of views and traffic but not really so much in a community aspect they get lots of comments lots of action and stuff on there but not really any truck drivers kind of interacting amongst themselves you know as a social environment but how does it go for you out there do you guys still socialize with other drivers it's changed so much out here i got my cdl in 2005 february of 2005 coming up on 18 years and it's it had changed drastically from the old days up until that point when I got mine for the drivers that were around those times, and it's changed drastically in the 18 years that I've held the CDL. It's used to the OG social media network, the, the old school style, one of the old back of the day methods at CB Radio. Nobody hardly touches those anymore. That was how you got in touch with everybody. Even when the smartphones and stuff started first started coming out, not everybody had one. Not everybody had the Bluetooth headsets and all that stuff, and you socialized on the CB radio. Word would get across country real quick just by stories and talking on the CB radio. That's where you, you socialize, you got help, you got information, basically everything that you get from all your other mediums today, but it was a little more personal, a little more fun. And then, all, you know, then the internet came, smartphones came, you had your social media platforms, you got your truckers forums like that we mentioned before, but truckers are different now, especially the younger generation coming in with, you know, they're a lot more technologically advanced and kind of off in their own little worlds. Not really anybody uses a uh, CB radio anymore, Not a lot of drivers don't even have them in the trucks anymore, and there's not a lot of socializing at the truck stops or at the coffee counters you know or anything like that anymore and, uh, it's kind of gone away for the most part like I've got my buddy that I've mentioned earlier he, we talk on the phone quite frequently and he's got a, a couple of other trucker friends he's stayed in touch with but for the most part you know there's not a lot of communing at the truck stops anymore and you know hanging out and you know chilling out and having cookouts in the back row he mentioned that in his video this morning and all and uh, where are you at with the social part of the world? Are you a lone wolf, tr lone wolf trucker? Do you not? Are you are you just that way by nature? Are you just? Is that just? There's nobody to socialize with out there anymore, or is it just? Or 
Are you consumed by your own hobbies? You know, do, do you spend your off time gaming? You know, chilling on, you know, do you do all your, do you get all your information from the YouTubes and the YouTubes? I sound like a really old man now, but from YouTube on the trucker channels and stuff like that. Where do you get your trucker information from? Where do you talk to other drivers or do you? What's it like out there for you? It's changed so much, so much. Again, Billy Big Rigger channel. Go check him out. He had a good video about that this morning. And uh, I'm just kind of touching base on it myself. I'm kind of interested in what people have to say. You know, like, where, how do you socialize in the trucking world or do you? Is it just, a, is it just your job and you get in, do your driving, park at the end of the day, and you're done? you talk to other drivers do you interact on the youtube channels do you comment and talk to the other drivers is there anybody out there still a member of those old school trucking forums do you talk on the cb radio what's it like out there for you talk to me about it go over there to billy big rigger's channel talk to him about it we're curious to know because this is a rapid changing industry rapid changing environment within the industry and it's kind of kind of disappointing in a lot of ways but fascinating to watch the evolution of it all at the same time you know it's it's so much different out there anyways i'm gonna hop off here and hopefully they'll come out here and unload me hope i don't bore you to tears y'all have a good day stay warm if it's cold where you're at keep on trucking or whatever it is you do y'all have a good day be safe bye